Now, I'm not gonna lie. Shocker, but I did not wake up like this. Okay, I know. <laughs> now, for this show, my hair and makeup takes an hour and a half, and that blows my mind. That's so much time! <laughs> if somebody gave me an hour and a half alone with a curling iron, I'd come out bald or with a steaming hot vagina. <laughs> amazing makeup team, I do have my very own simple beauty routine, but it's taken me years to figure out. Sometimes I'll see a preteen wearing makeup and I'm just like, no, don't do it. <laughs> because I miss the days when my morning routine was just putting on lip smacker and drowning myself in Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Straight up, I smelled like a stripper who rolled around in a cucumber patch. <laughs> The Cucumber Patch is a pretty great name for a strip club. Think about it. I'm just like... <laughs> when I was younger, I had super thick eyebrows, and I was always worried about them growing into a unibrow. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't front, okay? <laughs> but back then, everybody wanted little, thin eyebrows, so I'd pluck and pluck at them to the point where people couldn't tell if I was happy or sad. <laughs> Of course, now everyone wants thick eyebrows, and it's impossible to fill them in evenly. Every time I try, one is always bigger than the other, and I look like The Rock had a stroke. <laughs> Just like, let's get smart! <laughs> I feel like these days, everyone is trying to get on the no makeup makeup trend. I've never understood this. I swear, makeup brands have to be the most powerful companies on earth. It's like, we all decided we were gonna stop using makeup. And they were just like, oh, we can make makeup for that. And we're like, we all just bought right into it. We're stupid. <laughs> and I feel like there used to be only three different makeup tools you could use. Now, every time I get my makeup done, someone opens up a kit with 40 different brushes, <laughs> a face roller, eyeball clamps, and a million little things called beauty blenders. <laughs> These things cost $20 each, and they're basically tiny sponges. <laughs> Y'all, I wouldn't spend $20 on a sponge even if it lived in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> I do not care. $20? Stop! And I'll admit, I'm a little skeptical of some of the beauty products I've seen. Like, some European hair salons are using bull semen to make hair shinier. <laughs> say the same thing to bulls that I said to my boyfriend, don't get that stuff in my hair. <laughs> don't get that stuff in my hair. <laughs> but look, we all know that makeup is a huge industry. I mean, there are entire stores dedicated to it, like Mac, which is the bane of every confused dad's existence when he goes to get a new iPad and leaves with a makeover. <clears throat> <laughs> In India, there's a whack beauty product that won't go away, and I have a huge issue with it. It's called fairness cream. Yep. If you don't know what fairness creams are, basically, it's a cream that makes your skin lighter. Oh. Basically, it turns you from Lil' Kim in 1997 to Lil' Kim now. <laughs> and fairness creams aren't some underground trend. They're actually super popular in India, and endorsed by famous celebrities, which is a huge bummer, because fairness creams contribute to the false idea that lighter skin is better. Now, I'm a huge fan of Bollywood and a lot of the actors and actresses who endorse this product, but I feel bad that even they are subject to some unfair beauty standards. I mean, take a look at this real ad for a fairness cream called Fair and Lovely. Check it out. Brilliant. You're main dancer. And you're going to study from इतना टैलेंट होकर भी पर्दे के पीछे टिया हमारा सा चेहरा जो है ये लो स्पेशल तीस दिन वाली ट्यूब है रोज लगाओ फिर देखो चांद वहाँ ये यहाँ फेयर एंड लवली की नई तीस दिन वाली ट्यूब रोज लगाओ और तीस दिन में पाओ चांद सा निखार उजला उजला रूप है तेरा चांद भी शर्मा जाए that suggests being whiter will make you a better dancer. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this straight. In Eastern Asia, everybody wants to look whiter. In North America, everyone wants to be tan. So it turns out the only thing that everyone on Earth has in common is low self-esteem. <laughs> Listen, let me just tell y'all straight up, 
I didn't get this show by being fair and lovely, so I'll stick with dark and in charge, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs>